Hello everyone, in this video I will be talking about spanning tree and how you can make a switch the root bridge for a specific VLAN. So right here on GNS3 I have three switches connected um, in this loop or a redundant way and I have connected I have created three VLANs on each of the switches. Switch. The command's a little different in GNS3 because it's a switch module connected to a router. So I created VLANs 100, 200, 300 on each of the switches. And if we look at the spanning tree, we can see switch one is a bridge. The root bridge for VLAN 100. It is the root bridge for VLAN 200, and also for 300. So switch two and switch three are not the root bridge. So one of them should be forwarding for a specific VLAN, and the other ones should be blocking. Oh, switch three is blocking for VLAN 100, blocking on this interface. This port is what is preventing the loop uh, to happen. So let's say we want switch 2 to be the root bridge of, uh, of VLAN 100. So you can go to uh, configuration and we type in spanning tree VLAN 100 root you can change the priority as well the priority is the priority and the MAC address is what consists uh, the bridge ID if the priority is uh, is the same in all switches the bridge ID will, uh, the bridge MAC address will be the next criteria to select who is the root bridge and it's based on the lower uh, bridge ID so if the bridge priority is the same the MAC address one of the switches will have the lower MAC address and it will be the root bridge so right here if I run I want to make switch to the root bridge for VLAN 100 I run this command spanning dash three VLAN 100 root primary, and what it does is it looks for the bridge priority on the on the root bridge, and it sets its own priority to less than that. So if you like to look at the spanning tree again on switch one, right now it's no longer the root bridge on uh, for VLAN 100. If we look at VLAN 100 right now on switch 2, switch 2 is now the root bridge. And the other two, one should be blocking and the other one should be forwarding. So this one, switch 3 is still blocking one of its ports. If you look at the priority and the MAC address of switch 1, we can see the priority is the default value, 32768. And right here for VLAN 100, it's also the same. But we look at the MAC address, C203. And this one is C201. This is a lower MAC address. So this one will be forwarding and this one will block one of its interfaces. And that's how you make a switch or a bridge, the root bridge for a specific VLAN. Thank you guys for watching.